Um, today I'm doing something super cool, something I never done before. Um, I got some um, coffee um, from the Sierra de Juarez, the Sierra Zapoteca, and it's uh, untoasted. It's 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 really from from the community, from the mountains there, uh, and uh, they call this um, Café de Oro. And um, I, I'm going to toast this today, uh, and I'm going to share that with you. I, I'm excited, and, and I know it's going to be super good, but I've never done this. But uh, I'm very happy to, um, to do that and, and share that experience with you. So let's get to do some roasting. Toasting or roasting? Roasting. Roasting coffee, yes. So I'm going to be roasting my own coffee that I got from the Sierra de Juarez in Oaxaca. And uh, yeah, let's see how it comes out. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, the smell on this thing. I'm just going to make enough for one serving today. Or in case I screw this up, it won't, I, it, uh, it won't be as uh, the whole thing. So this is what the unroasted coffee looks like. And um, so this is what we are going to be doing. I'm going to be roasting that in a second.
<clears throat> oh my god oh my god <laughs> this coffee is um i am uh, speechless um you know um the taste of this coffee it almost kind of it's, it's it's kind of like borderline or, or getting closer to what tea tastes like it's so subtle and you can sort of pick up all the the minerals and and the flavors uh, and the flowers uh, um, all these flavors and the coffee and um you know um it, it, it's so wonderful so fantastic it uh, my sense is that there is a connection between what i am drinking um between um, what I am enjoying and where it comes from and I think that that connection um, is what makes this so alive so beautiful so so good um, oftentimes we are disconnected from you know to that uh, you know from what we eat we go to the store and we buy we have no clue no idea of all the hands and all the struggle that went into uh, making that possible for us I went when I was in the Sierra, uh, Sierra de Juarez in Oaxaca, I, I, I was able to talk to the lady who harvested the coffee, um, um, who sold me, I, you know, uh, sold, uh, sold it to me. I was able to shake her hand. She, she told me um, a little bit of how she does it. And so I know that, so there's that connection. And I think that that's almost, um, it, is, it is absolutely amazing to be able to have that connection with what we eat. It's almost like when we sort of uh, grow our own vegetables or whatnot, right? And then we get to enjoy them. It's just, they taste so much more um, full, alive, um, that connection that is there. And so um, I, am so, I am so proud and happy that I, I was able to do this, to be able to roast my own coffee. But not only, you know, I didn't buy it from a huge conglomerate or, or whatnot. I bought it from, from the people who, who made this possible very humble, hardworking people in Mexico. And so, um, you know, after tasting this, it's going to be really, really hard um, to go back uh, and buying that crap of coffee from that huge places that I'm not gonna mention names here, but it's just bitter and dead. Like nothing, there's nothing there. Um, this, and on the other hand, is so, so delicious and gorgeous. So I hope that, you know, you get to taste one day or one night, uh, or, you know, uh, roast your own coffee, and hopefully you can get it from uh, places that are um, uh, in cooperatives uh, that come from, um, from different places of the world. That way you can support more the indigenous people that oftentimes make our coffee possible. And so um, I hope you, you one day you enjoy it like I am enjoying now. Uh, I know there is that other part where I'm not used to drinking pure black coffee. I know, I know, I, I, I put sugar in it. I, I, I try not to put as, as much sugar in it, but I, I just, I, I'm working towards it, right? I'm, I'm, I'm walking towards that path of not adding sugar uh, to my coffee, but um, not quite there yet. Uh, there yet. So, but, um, you know, uh, this is the way I enjoy it. And so uh, it was good showing you guys um, how to make, a, uh, how to roast your own coffee and absolutely enjoy that. So, a pleasure. Bye.